All right. Well, here we are. We're uh, in St. Louis now for game three of the 1967 World Series. And in our replay World Series of the what if Tony Canigliaro played, uh, it's one to one. Same thing that happened in 1967 when they went back. Um, so we are ready to jump into game three and see who can kind of take the upper edge of this. Yes, and still, you know, to put Canigliaro in the lineup in the four hole, uh, Tartable is not starting. Originally he was leading off in this game, but everybody else is the same. He's basically replacing Tartable, all right? So we got Bryles on the mound here uh, for the cards. He is a, um, uh, a 12 starter, 16 reliever. Um, and you'll have a real good year the next year as well. And um, that's ma the main difference there. All right. So I guess we're ready to roll, right? Here with the AstroTurf, you know, this is, you know, what we found as far as the best bush that we have so far. If somebody has a better one, hey, send it our way, okay? We'll be happy to put it on our, our computer. All right. So here we go. Let's see what Ado does to lead off. And uh, it's in there for a hit. He gets a base hit in the right. So... And that he hadn't been doing a lot of, so that that's a good sign. Yeah, yep. So Jones has done pretty well so far, hitting 375 on the series. Adar, not the quickest guy over there, so he'll just be there. So see how this goes. Brings it to the plate. Was, and he hooks it down right field line. It's a fair ball. Is he going to try to score? I don't think so. I think you hold him at third, don't you think, Kurt? I would hold him. Um he, you know, Maris has a good arm out there, 36, yeah. early in the yeah, game. Nobody's got, out. I mean, you don't want to get somebody. Yeah, you got you got the Triple Crown winner coming up, mm -hmm. um, I would say so. He's now we're 29 for the series. He's really yeah. hitting well, and Tony is, Tony C isn't. I'm thinking that he can, he's going to get walked here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't think they're going to mess around with yep. Yes. So – we're going to intentionally walk him. That's bases loaded, nobody out now for Tony Canigliero. Um, and I who, think what – 143 in the series. Yeah. Time. And I think what would happen here is they're hoping for a double play and give mm -hmm. up at least, you know, just one run. Yeah. Um, so they're hoping for play something that. hard on the ground. All right. Well, let's see what Tony C can do. Goes back and double, double play, play depth. depth. Ball one. Oh, all right. All right, and they're still back. Ball two. Mm. Riles is in some big trouble. Deep left center. Brock's racing for it. Tie off the wall. Yastrzemski going to try to score. He's a 14, I think so. Send Yastrzemski home. Yes. Send him home. Throw to the plate. I think they try to get him. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he's safe. Double. Yep. Yeah, it's a bases clearing double by we Tony. We run C. double by Tony Canigliaro. Nice. Wow. All right. All right. Yeah, there you go. Well, they play with fire, and that's what happened. I mean, but you know, a guy's hitting 450 in the series. What are you going to do, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see what Scott does here. Right field. Morning track. Um, his tagging is going to try to go through. Uh, you know, can yeah. 17, but I don't think so. No. no. Um, I think at three run lead. See yeah. if you can get a hit. Um, you get a base hit, get another run in here. Just pass it on to the next guy, right? Yep. So Reggie Smith up. And here's a pitch to him. And he walks him. Hmm. I might be needing to get some bullpen action going mm -hmm. here, I guess. Huh? Rough start for Bryles here. Mm hmm. Yep. So they got double play territory, and, and uh, Petroselli doesn't run well. So um, we'll see what happens here. Ball one to Petroselli. Three run shot. Wow. Petroselli goes deep, six nothing. Man, I mean, should we consider uh, Yankin? I mean, six runs in the first and they're all earned i'm thinking with howard up they're going to give him one more guy here and then if he's got two outs what do we got the pitcher yeah um on deck so but if he if it gets to the top of the order uh he he's got to be gone yeah. right i mean you got two weak hitters coming up here yep yeah. all right well we'll see how he does here 
Throws him out at first, close play, two outs, and now he's got the pitcher Bell up. Let's see what kind of hitter Bell is. I really don't have any idea. Um, slightly better than average. And he's a 12 starter, by the way, so kind of a B kind of guy. All right, we'll see what he does. And he gets him out, but they go all the way through the order. Six runs in the top of the first. Ouch. Wow. All right. That is quite a start on the road. Yes. Yeah. So we got Lou Brock leading off here. I was back for a strike. Brock only hitting 111 in the series. Um, not particularly productive so far. Scott knocks it down, flips the bell covering. So he's out. And that brings up Flood, who's doing great. I mean, he's the best hitter they've had so far, hitting 571 so far. Yeah. He was huge in the last game, too. Mm -hmm. Hits it to uh, Smith, and he's got it for two away. And that brings up Maris, who's been struggling as well, hitting 125 so far in the series. Yeah, I think he had that home run in game one that was kind of, like, meaningless. And I he think. flies out the center as well. So nothing doing there, and Browse is back out there. We'll see how he does. Um, but he's on a short leash. Bang, bang, play at first. He gets him. All right. So he needed that, getting a good start to the inning. Jones up, strike three. All right. Now he's got it. He gets to face Yaz with nobody on. That's what you want to do for sure. Right. Yaz gets to hit this time, right? And he strikes him out. All well, right. Well, all right. Well, he bounced back there. They need him to give him some innings at least here, right? All right. So Peta. Pulled hard to the left, deep enough if it's fair, and it's a foul ball. Okay, they need it. Yeah, they needed that. something positive. And he grounds it hard wide a third, and he, ground, he grounds out to Jones. McCarver, who's hitting 500 for the series, doing quite well. Um, line drive, hit to right. McCarver's on again. Fifth hit of the series so far for mm -hmm. Harvard. He's tearing it up. All right. Well, brings up Shannon. They need him to be productive. He's hitting 250. He's doing okay. Um, and he strikes out. Mm -hmm. And that brings up Javier. Swung on. One play is at first, and he gets him. All right. Brings us to the Top of the third, Canigliero, who had the huge three-run double. Yeah. It's a chopper back to the mound, and he's an easy out. And Scott's up. Gun shot to Maxville, who throws him out as well. And Reggie Smith, the switch hitter. And he hits it over to Javier. So two good innings for uh, – Boring. Yeah, bounce back innings. Um, yes, for sure. Yeah. Oh well, he, no, what, Smith is what, on. We were wrong. What happened here? Scoots by him. Boy, got under Javier's glove for a hit. So oh I, yeah. Uh, wasn't reading it quick enough, I guess. Well, okay. Well, two out single is not the end of the world. Right. See what happens. Petroselli at the big home run last time. See what happens this time. Quick move to the plate. Lays off and he walks him. Uh oh, now he's on. Oh, so now we got some trouble here. He's got Howard back up again, though. Yeah, bottom he, of the two order. Two outs, bottom of the order. Um, yeah, I, I think. I don't know. I mean, especially uh, since he's due up. Um, you can't kill your bullpen in the third game of the World Series, you know, I mean, you want to come back. Right. I know every one is really – And they wouldn't mind – maybe pinch it when he comes up. Yeah, I think nice so. Nice to get to, to try him. to get him out of here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So we'll let him pitch it here. Mm -hmm. See if he can get out of this. Three steps, yep, flies out the flood and he gets out of it. So mm -hmm. I, I think he's going to get pinch hit for – he's he's on deck coming up here. Right. Yeah, he's on deck, especially if uh, Maxwell gets on. See what Maxwell does. Pops at the center. And uh, that brings up Bryles, who needs a pinch hitter. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see here real quick here. Pinch hit. And we'll let 
Gagliano pinch hit for him. He's a solid hitter. And uh, we'll figure out what we can do from there. Um, Bob Gibson is slated to pitch in the uh, next game, so we'll see what we can do here. Six runs, five hits, and a homer. Um, yeah, not not a very good outing for him. No. Um, here's a Gagliano's card. Um, you know, he can. He's okay. I mean, he's a decent middle of the game pinch hitter. So. They're just hoping he can get on base and get yeah. something going here. Better than a pitcher. Yeah. And um, he uh, flies out flies right out. there, like lo- looks like it. And then top of the order for Lou Brock, who's now hitting a, a big 100 on the series so far. He needs mm-hmm. to get something going. Could be trouble. And it's against the wall. And he makes the catch. All right, so we need a pitcher here. Um, game four is going to be um, – so we got Carlton's pitching in game five. We got to see what we got to do here for their pitching. Um, hmm. We only got a couple of relievers down here. I mean, you got Jackson and well, Washburn. You get you could throw Washburn in there. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're not they're not using every pitcher either. So yeah. some of those starters turn into relievers. Yeah, you could put – yeah, Jaster could pitch. He's not slated to start. I think we we go with Jaster. I think so, especially kind of – we're talking long relief here. Yeah, it's long relief. So, yeah, he's he's going in. All right. Lefty. Gets to face a pitcher. Yep, that's good. And uh, we'll see how it goes here. All right. Javier makes it out. Okay, on top of the order. Ball four. That's not good. <laughs> See what kind of move Jaster has here. Review his card anyway. Um, plus two. Plus two. Not too bad. All right. It's turns the bat loose, comes up entry, empty, strikes out. And that's, yeah, so at least you got lefty-lefty on him, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Balk! Mm. Oh, wow, that's not good. So we pitch the Yaz, or, or you walk him again? But the lefty, I don't know, man. I think with two outs, um, gosh, that is a tough call. Yeah. I'm sure people will disagree with us either way we go with this. Um, yeah. You know, you got lefty-lefty. Are you going to try to two walk a lefty to get to a righty? I mean, I don't know. I think you pitch to him. Yeah. With two outs, I think you do. Yeah. If it was one out, I wouldn't. Yeah, he pops at the right side. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. You foul. Javier gets over there and makes a catch. All right. Mm-hmm. So, I guess that was the right call. All right. Flood trying to get things going. And he has this series so far. It's a tweener. Pulls up for a double. Yeah. All right. Man, he's had a great series. Him. They need Maris to do something here. Yeah, he's they good. do. He has not done much. All right. Strike three. He doesn't do it again. Cepeda has been struggling as well. The middle of their lineup has not done very well recently. And well, let me do that. Him him too. And here's McCarver. This is the guy you want up here who's hitting 556 mm-hmm. so far this series. Really? If we were making adjustments to this lineup, you'd, you'd have Flood and McCarver hitting next to each other. Extra um, bases. The shrimps gets up quickly, and he stops there. He doubles him home. So yeah. McCarver does come yeah. through. You know, I know you might think we could walk McCarver, but if you're up 6 nothing, you're not putting extra guys on base. So, you know, you'd pitch to McCarver. Right. I'd say. Even a hot McCarver, which he is mm, right yeah, now. Yeah, you got to, you know, hope you, you do it. So 6-1 to mm. one now. And then see if Shannon can keep it going for him. Mm-hmm. He's had a couple big Ryan cases. Bringer on Canigliaro's got it. Mm-hmm. So, Tony C to lead off here in the uh, fifth inning. It might go back to the warning track, and it is gone. Canigliaro hits a home run. Oh, That's nice. Seven to one. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> All right. 
And Scott strikes out. No, it gets a walk. Sorry. I, said, I thought I said strikes out. Sorry about that. Anyway, first walk of the series. Uh, Reggie Smith up and batting right handed now. And uh, we'll see what he does. Slap down a second. Javier's got to Maxville and safe at first, but they get to fielder's choice. Smith, I guess, runs a little too quickly. I wonder if that matters for the BBW, if they take that into consideration for that stuff or not. That's a good question that yeah. us novices are not very familiar yeah. with. I don't know if that matters so much or if it's just the numbers. Yeah. All right, so we got one out and Petroselli, who um, is hitting 375 on the series, doing well. Yeah, especially down there in the seven spot. Mm-hmm. Deep in the hole, Maxwell's got it. Long throw, second, and uh, long throw. He gets him at first, and Smith moves up. So we got two outs for Howard, who is uh, hitless, Weak. hitless on the series. So almost like a pitcher down there. Mm -hmm. Fastball, badly fooled, and he's out. All right, so seven to one, bottom of the fifth. Javier trying to get it going here. See what happens. He's only hitting one eleven. Mm hmm. Base of the wall. That's good for extra bases. Try for third. Heck no, you're no. not trying for third when you're down by six. Stop right He'll there. Stop there. All right. Uh, we got Maxville. Uh, so he has yet to get a hit this series. So I guess he's due. We'll see what he does. We have double. Um, and he walks him. Now, yeah, walk. I don't know what kind of hitter Jasser is, but this seems like a pinch hitting kind of situation. I, I would um, so. yeah. he can't oh, hit with sure. a lick. So, um, let's see what we can do here. Pinch hit. Okay, so we have a pinch hitter here. Dave Ricketts uh, will come in. He's got an interesting card, but um, definitely better than what the options were. With two guys on, they're hoping for eleven thirty three or sixty six on this one. All right, let's see what hey. we get. Take the lead. Routine fly ball to center. Try for third. No, you're not trying for third when you're down by six. And especially with Lou Brock coming up. So we'll see what Brock can do. Lou is definitely due with his 091 average here. Yeah, he's been horrible this series. Line hard to left. Base hit. Your strips, he's got it. He's He's got a good arm. Off throw. They got to play it safe on these bases. And they get him. They cut the throw off. Get him. The run scores. Who was out? Um, oh, uh, at third. Um, um, what's his name? Um, Javier. Maxwell. No, Maxville. Maxville got thrown out at third. We didn't have a choice on that. So now yeah. we got two outs and a runner first. Brock, uh, would you steal down by five? I mean, that's what Brock does. I would say that they're going to try with two outs to get him in scoring position. Yeah, so I'd, yes, I'd we send them. Let's uh, go for it. Let's steal down They're here. They're going to try and be aggressive and see what they can do. Throw a second. Yep. And they get them. That that looks bad. <laughs> yeah. But, well, hey, I mean, you want to you want to get them there so that Floyd can so hit a man. Yeah. You know? I mean, I think this, so. This team doesn't have a lot of power. It's not like you're just playing for home runs or something. And Flood certainly doesn't hit a bunch of home runs. Well, he's pitching pretty well, so I'd say he keep going here and hit. Um, oops, my bad. Um, so, yeah, I, I would think so. Oh, I need a pitcher. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. we might need to get one. All right, so I'm like, man, nobody's pitching. All right, all right. Okay, so we got Lambie in. Um, his second appearance. And, and he's just got to hold him down, right? Yep. On top of the order. Slaps the grounder. Uh, Javier. Cepeda. Oh, um, I couldn't throw in a better spot. Uh, second hit for Adar in the game. All right, so he got another hit. He's doing better. First and second there. Yep, he's doing better. Tim McCarver. No, Jones. Oh, Jones, my bad. McCarver's catching. That's right. <laughs> and he has taken out by the runner. Save it first, Jones. You know, you got to force out there. So we got Yaz up. Two outs. Two outs. Uh, 
Uh, short, just out of reach. Brock chasing it. I would say hold him. He's a 10 runner. Yeah, he's just kind of average. Brock's got a you know decent arm. And Tony C is hitting 300 now, so he's got a you know home run and big double. So you know, yeah, you know you want to give him a shot, right? Mm-hmm. All right, he hits back to the pitcher, and that's it. All right, so floods up. See what he can do here. He's hitting 556. Yeah. I fly to center, flies out the, to Smith. Roger Maris hitting a whole big 100. Mm-hmm. Not good. And he gets a walk at least. Okay. That brings up Cepeda, one of their few power spots in this lineup. And uh, guns at first, not in time. So Peter, Cepeda reaches, you know, mm-hmm. on the fielder's choice. See if McCarver can come through again here. Mm-hmm. They need him to have home runs, but they need. Yeah, they do. Or at least driving another run. Yep. And he grounds out on the force out as well. Yeah, he can't do everything, you know. Yep, that's true. Okay. Um, leave Lambie in there. We got Scott. And he flies out to center to flood. That brings up Reggie Smith. Off balance sw- swing, and he strikes out. And Petroselli. And he strikes out, mm. all third. All right, Bell is rolling along pretty well here. Yeah. Um, so far, I mean, two runs, pretty good. Two runs, not bad. No, not really any major trouble. Except for one inning where this is a couple hits there, but Mike Shannon gets a base hit into right. His third okay. hit in the series. He's got res- decent speed there, but you still got a down by five. You yeah, still need yeah. to I mean, uh, unless play you're Lou Brock, nobody else is trying to steal. Right. But. And well, I'm just thinking even on extra bases. I mean, you got great mm-hmm. arms yeah, in this play field. It, play it safe. Mm-hmm. Straight away center for Smith from Javier, and he's out. Oh no. Oh. Uh, got a beat on uh, not so guess he's tagging. No. No, we're not gonna tag. No. They about? always do that tag thing, and yeah, you're not tagging. Uh, no, Max Vell still looking for his first hit of the series. Yeah, he's been rough. <laughs> Ground ball. Scott's got it for one. Back to first. Double play. Ouch. Mm. All right. Now they'll have the pitcher leading off uh, their next inning. Yeah. Well, he'll get pinch at four. All right. So Howard up looking uh, for his first hit of the series. And uh, we'll see if he can get one. Long fly ball to center. And um, Flood makes the catch. I um, think we let Bell keep going here. I think? do. Yeah. I, mean, I think they want to bullpen. save on their bullpen, um, especially in this era. You know, he's he's riding it. I mean, you know, maybe if he was really, but yeah, I mean, unless he gets in trouble, you know, um, Mm -hmm. you know, let's go for it. And let's see, another fly ball to center. That's three outs. So we need a pinch hitter. All right. So here's our pinch hitter, uh, Bobby Tolan, um, who has some. A couple years later, by 1970, he had a nice year with the Reds. What a solid card here, too. Yeah, not bad. You know, 11, 10, you know, five hit numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's see if he can do anything. No, he strikes out. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Except Blue Brock. Blue Brock. Rough. And he strikes out. Yeah. And that brings up Flood, who's still hitting 500. Mm Mm-hmm. And he grounds out to second base. We need a pitcher. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so we have Al Jackson in to try to finish us off. Not, you know, kind of the bottom end of their bullpen, but with a five-run game going into the end of the game here, probably don't want to waste any of their other arms. I'm yeah. Thinking. So Jones leading off. And he hits one to the gap. It won't get it. It's off the wall. Flood chases it down. Jones leads off with a double. Ouch. Mm. Brings up Yaz. Um, he is um, 
a lefty. So I guess he pitched to him here. I don't know. He has hitting 400 in the series. But we'll see. What, I think they probably would throw it to him at this point. They're not trying I'm to put thinking, guys yeah. on base. Moonshot the right. Maris has got it. Waits and waits. And is he going to try for third? No, no, not on Maris. No. I mean, he's a 10 runner. Yep. So there you go. Canigliero's up. And checks the swing. Ball four. All right. Okay. Brings up Scott, who's only hitting 200. Scott's been struggling. Yeah, he's been bit. struggling a bit, I would say. Yeah. We're looking for a double play. Grounds ball to Shannon. Fires a second for one. Over the first, not in time. We got first and third for Reggie Smith, who also has been struggling it with a 200 average. Mm-hmm. See if uh, Jackson can get out of this. Easy bouncer to Javier. Mm-hmm. All right. So he does it without any damage. Um, and we'll just let Bell ride it here unless he gets in some trouble. Um, you know, then we'll yeah, I mean, I think he'd have to, we'd have to see some base runners before you yeah. might. If there's a base runner that. or two out there, then we'll get him. But otherwise, I think so. So Maris, who's really struggles leading it off. Oh, and he's he on. Him. Man, that's not what you want to do with a five run lead. I would say that. Um, they probably lead off walk are going to bring in a reliever. Okay. I think so. Um, too. Uh, so, uh, you know, like that's like, uh, we're not messing around anymore. Um, so we could bring in Watt or Osinski or Lyle, Sparky Lyle too. Um, maybe with the five run lead, they might bring in Lyle or something. Just, yeah. You know, and yeah, let's, if you those, they bring in somebody else. I think let's let's see if Sparky comes in and he's not the Sparky Lyle of the 1970s, but yeah. Um, but you know, I think with a five-run game, um, or, you know, they might they might go with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's see what we got here. Once they there's Sparky, and he's facing Orlando Cepeda. Devers swung on line shot. Short, um, he leaps and he's caught it for on the line drive to Petroselli and Maris gets back. So McCarver's up. At least he got a lefty lefty on him to try to slow down his 545 average <laughs> series. Yeah, he's, he's doing just been really well. It up. Hang up, it's a K for him. So he struck Wait. him out. Sparky, he's getting it down, down here. for Shannon. Iron inside, count goes full. All oh. right, can they get that last out here? Pay out pitch, and he hits it to eight hours, shovels it up, and that's the ball game. All right, seven to two, Boston victory. And really, you know it's what? six runs in the first, and they got one more run the rest of the game, and that was it, you know. Um, that In that three-run double by Tony C., was the difference really um, mm-hmm. in this game? So Bryles went three innings, six earned runs, five hits, really struggled. I mean, the other pitchers came in and settled down. They only gave up one other run. Um, Bell pitched a great game, eight innings, only gave up two earned runs, struck mm-hmm. out five. Um, but uh, yeah, you look at some of those averages. There's a little more balance with Boston. You know, they got the top of their lineup. Their first four are hitting well. You know, all of mm-hmm. you know. I mean, Tony C's at 273, but you got your other three guys over 300. But he was struggling um, the other games. He really picked it up here with his two hits. Right, but Where, he was a big really, difference in this game. I mean, you know, that three-run double in the first was like mm-hmm. a backbreaker early on. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, the Petrocelli. You look at that. You look at that St. Louis lineup right now and how they're producing. You really only have Flood and McCarver mm-hmm. doing anything, yeah, and everybody else is doing a whole lot. And of it's nothing. been pretty weak after that. Um, so they're going to need to get more production out of, um, you know, Brock Cepeda, Maris would be good. You're hitting third. I mean, mm-hmm. I know it's not earlier Roger Maris in his career, but that's not getting it done. He, he's he's no. in hundred. Yeah. You know, he had a meaningless home run, I think, in game one. So 
Um, there, if if he doesn't pick it up, they're they're going to lose this series. Now the next uh, game is uh, Gibson is pitching and Santiago again. Gibson and Santiago. So kind of the, the same matchup from game one. Yes. Right? Yep. So that'll be interesting to see how that works out. So uh, that'll be our next one, um, and it should be uh, should be fun. You remember what happened in the actual game three? Did you have that? Um, in actual game three, I can look it up. Um, let me see here. In Boston this. could have made this one worse. I mean, they left eight guys on base, man. They could have scored. Yeah. Could have scored um, points. Oops. I went to, I think in, shoot. Oh, it's the wrong one. I'm sorry. This is, this is exciting stuff right here. <laughs> the anticipation is. is um, box scores, uh, baseball reference, right? Yep. Um, in game three, it was Red Sox two, Cardinals five. Okay. So that's when, uh, the Cardinals took the two to one lead. In mm. this case, it was the opposite. Yes. So because of then, Tony Caniglio. Really? And really then St. Was. Louis wins the next game in, in, in the series in six to nothing. So um, they're going to go up to Boston, two. came yeah. back and won the next two after that. Yeah. So it went like games three and four went to, to St. Louis and then games five and six went to Boston. Hmm. So, um, so yeah, we'll see how that, how that plays out. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, um, please uh, stick with us and we'll have game four coming up soon.